हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ अरशद कुरैशी फ्रॉम कालसिकर टेक्निकल कैंपस एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सिंपल इलेक्ट्रोनोमेटिक सर्किट ऑफ ए प्लस ए माइनस दिस इज अ सिंपल इलेक्ट्रोनोमेटिक सर्किट दिस इज अ सिलेंडर ए व्हिच आई कैन से इट एज ए सिलेंडर नेमिंग इट एज ए दिस इज अ डबल एक्चुएटिंग सिलेंडर ओके दिस हैज अ वाई वन सोलोनाइड ईयर एंड अ स्प्रिंग रिटर्न ईयर ओके सो व्हेन दिस वाई वन सोलोनाइड गेट्स एक्चुएटेड व्हाट हैपेंस इज व्हेन दिस वाई वन सोलोनाइड इज गेटिंग एक्चुएटेड सो द पिस्टन मूव्स फ्रॉम एस वन टू एस टू एंड एज सून एज इट रीचेज एस टू because of the spring return it can come back okay when the y1 solenoid it gets deactuated the current is not supplying to y1 then because of the spring return force this piston can come back because the this dc uh, dcv that is the direction control valve will take this position and the air will be supplied on this side and it will come back so how it is working we will see here see this is a multiple cycle multiple cycle circuit therefore you can observe it i have used a toggle switch okay so the a plus a minus operation will be go going on happen as as long as i am keeping the circuit on if i want to switch off the circuit then i have to uh, disconnect the supply of current you can see the supply of current how it is happening at what stage where the supply of current is being given so i will explain you one by one how it is happening see here is a s1 limit switch which is actually situated here and here is the s2 limit switch okay so s2 limit switch is actually a normally closed contact normally closed limit switch and this s1 is a normally open limit switch so this toggle switch when uh, when i connect this it gets stuck here and it will be a closed contact here and this s1 is here which is a normally open contact so when the piston is here initially at s1 so what will happen is when it is at s1 this will be a closed contact and this is also s2 is also a normally closed then this k1 coil will get the current okay you can see it at the initial stage what is happening see at the initial stage s1 is open and s2 is here s2 is opening because the piston is reaching here but when i see the initial stage okay at the initial stage s1 is closed and s2 is also closed at the start of the circuit why s1 is closed here because it is normally open but it is closed because of the piston position here here the piston is at s1 therefore it is closing the normally open limit switch here s2 is closed and therefore what is happening is the current when i use the limit switch okay so the current can be supplied to the k1 coil okay so when as soon as this toggle switch is pressed the current can pass through this s1 which is closed s2 which is closed and it will reach k1 as soon as it reaches k1 this k1 coil gets energized and this k1 coil will close this k1 contact this k1 contact also will be closed and the current will be supplied to y1 as soon as the y1 gets current this y1 solenoid which is getting the current it will take this position and as soon as it takes this position the air will be supplied on the this side of the piston that is the head of the piston and the piston will move towards the right it will move from s1 to s2 as soon as it re is reaching s2 what is happening is the normally closed contact is open this piston is opening this normally closed contact and the current which was supplied to this k1 coil because of the latching the i have provided a latching so because of the latching the current was going that also will not go to your k1 coil and your y1 will not get the current therefore what will happen this y1 will not get the current it will be deenergized what will happen then this spring will do its work okay as soon as this piston reaches s1 to s2 this y1 is not getting the current this spring get, does its work and it pushes the piston back just observe it you can see it see it here okay this continuously being done okay this is a